Hi guys, Psycho Petit here again. Um, I've been hearing a lot of questions about what helicopter should I buy first, and you know what what's the best helicopter in the game. Well, to be honest, it really depends on what you're using it for. Each of them have their own strengths and weaknesses. So we'll talk about the two major types. First being the gunships. Uh, there's two major types. Uh, the first type is the Ophus, um, loosely based off of the Mi-28, which is a Russian-based helicopter. Um, now, there's two different versions of this. Uh, there's the original Mark I version. Uh, that one has mini guns and rockets. Now, the rockets do not lock onto their targets. Wherever you point, it shoots. Um, it averages 240 kilometers an hour. That's roughly about 150 miles per hour. It is a two-seater. Uh, the, the pilot controls the rockets, and then the passenger controls the minigun on the front. Um, this is also the this and the Mark II are the two strongest uh, helicopters as far as take as far as taking damage. Uh, they have the highest resistance to damage of them. Uh, the Mark II here, um, as you can see, if you noticed on the winglets, uh, it has the missiles rather than the rockets. Now the missiles are good for anti-vehicle. Um, they can also be used pretty easily, just like just like the uh, regular rockets against infantry and ground personnel. Um, there are several different camouflage versions of the Mark II. Uh, the Mark I, I believe there is only the standard. Um, very strong, very cool helicopter, but very large. Uh, moving on, we have the uh, Dinos. It's loosely it's based off of the Cobra, uh, which is an American helicopter created in the Vietnam War. Uh, still used today by the Marines and Navy. Um, this one is has is also a two-seater, uh, like the other gunships. Um, it is a two-seater. The uh, front person is not the pilot. The pilot sits in this, the back seat and controls the rockets, while the front person controls the minigun. Moving on to the next one, now we're getting into the transport helicopters. Uh, the Gypsus. There are two different versions. The Mark One which does not have any weapons controlled by the pilot but it does have two miniguns one on each side which are side facing miniguns so you can, you would have to turn the helicopter sideways in order to get a shot off um, and you would need two, at least two people to um, to operate that minigun now the Mark II as shown here does have missiles so it can actually lock onto a target um, take out it's great for shooting vehicles now this is a much slower vehicle very hard to maneuver not easy to land in tight spots uh, but it does care it can carry up to six people so you can not only carry your four 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 people from the co-op but you can also carry an NPC with you as well actually two NPCs not that I can remember ever having two NPCs uh, now we're moving on to the uh, the second uh, transport helicopter. The tra this one is the Overseer. Now this is the Overseer standard. Um, it is an unarmed helicopter, so the only people that can shoot would be the people sitting on the outside of the helicopter. Um, it does average um, 240 kilometers an hour, roughly 150 miles per hour. Um, then you have the Gatling gun version. It has two mini guns. Um, mounted underneath the seats uh, those are controlled by the pilot and in my opinion the miniguns in this game are not all that great they are hard to shoot hard to, hard to aim when you do hit your target they take it takes a lot of bullets to take down a target including infantry you would think quick bzzz, should take out the infantry but it doesn't uh, moving on we've got the, the rocket version uh, that one basically does not lock onto targets uh, you can still carry six people um, 
not a big fan of this one but I do use this version here quite often the missile version uh, the one the mark II has missiles rather than rockets it can lock on to targets this is a really small helicopter so it has the advantage that you can land on smaller roofs you can even land on some of the most of the uh, watchtowers um, land on the watchtower take start at the top and work your way down and you can funnel a lot of the uh, people off of the base into those those towers um, I love that that helicopter right there the um, the metal B um, version only difference between it and the other version uh, other versions of the mark II is of course the camouflage it does not give you any kind of other advantage uh, but I do like that camouflage pattern and this is probably the one I use more often than anything just because it can get land in a lot of these tight spots you can basically land right next to one of the trucks you need to steal jump out jump into the truck and take off um, it also has the rockets so that now let's take a look at the size comparison so we have the small gunship uh, which is what I call the Cobra then you have your little bird uh, which is the overseer um, this one this particular here one is the mark II with the rockets or I'm sorry with missiles um, that's probably the ver that that right there is probably the one I use more often than anything even though I do like the look of the Cobra better than 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 the little bird now the gypsus I believe is based off of the British gazelle um, looks a lot like the British gazelle helicopter um, it is a transport helicopter this particular version is the um, mark II. It does have the missiles on it um, now one of the nice things about this one too is in that back seat there you can actually get up in there and either sit in the back seat or you can jump forward and move into the, the minigun position Now something else that's nice is if somebody else is flying now this only works when you're flying um, you can launch your drone out of the helicopter as long as you're not close to the ground and as long as they're not hovering you have to be continually moving if you're moving forward and you throw basically launch your drone you can actually control your drone from inside the helicopter And lastly, we have the um, Ophus, which is the Mi-28, a Russian helicopter. It is an attack helicopter. It's a two-seater. Now, let's take a look at, at the rockets versus missiles in action. Now, this is, of course, the Cobra B. The Cobra. Um, about 195 kilometers per hour, 120 miles per hour, um, and it is equipped with rockets, not missiles. So it will not lock onto a target. But when you fire, it fires every time you fire. It does shoot six rockets at a time. Makes quick work of that small group of infantry. Let's go ahead and pull out one of the overseers, one of the little birds, with the missiles. And we will take a look and see what that can do against the convoy.
Now the little bird, the overseer, and also the uh, Ophus, the MI-28, both of those do 240 kilometers per hour. Now they are the fastest helicopters in the game. Um, the Cobra does about 195 kilometers per hour. And the Gypsus, which is based off of the Gazelle, does about 155 kilometers per hour, which is about 95 miles an hour. It is by far the slowest. Also, the Ophus and the Gypsus are so large they're hard to land on in a lot of places. Now, one thing I do like about, about this you can still go after those land targets without locking on. Just shoot from the hip. Just like with the rockets. Or you can lock, lock onto your target like I did with the two trucks. Take out the two trucks and the center, the center main truck will automatically stop and the driver just disappears. So unlike with Wildlands, you don't actually have to disable the center, the center truck. The one carrying the, the, the weapons. missiles also work very well against a lot of the drones um, the flying drones not so are not quite as easy but the land drones as long as you can stay out of their reach uh, it does work quite well against them as well well I hope this gives you a little bit more information about the helicopters available in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And if you like the video, go ahead and click the like button and share it, please. Thank you. Y'all have a good day.